I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. We're back again with the Fiace laser sight and this time it's going on a Ruger Security 9, 9mm. And uh, before we used it on an air gun, we also used it on a Rimfire 22 SR22, which was of course another Ruger. Uh, but this time we're going to try it on something a little bit more powerful, 9mm, like a lot of you would be shooting and using such of a sight like this, but we wanted to try it out for the different things. And again, the way I sighted this in, and I have not fired it yet, is by looking through my regular sights, and then once I have it on like that, I adjust it so that that laser pinpoints right where I'm aiming with my regular sights. It's usually the easiest way to do it, and I did it with both of the last two, the air gun and the rimfire. So I did the same thing here. And we're going to be testing out actually more than just this. We're also going to be using, well, I'll get it right here, here's the box, the Norma Frangible 9mm. Never fired that before, so it's going to be interesting to see if the gun cycles it and also how it shoots. Uh, the third thing we're going to be testing out is a new Shooting Targets 7 uh, bullseye target. And we've got that. It's in behind the... Uh, well, we've got the dirt bag knockovers, and we're going to pick those off, and then we'll shoot at that other one, too. And there's a, a regular mega gong that's a, another one that is a shooting target seven. So, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to load this up, because I've already got these done up and ready to go. Got a couple of magazines full, and we're just going to go up there, and we're going to shoot them. So, uh, let's turn around and start shooting. Right, we're back here at the uh, 10 yard line and uh, we'll rack around in and all I'm going to use is the laser sight and hopefully we can see that thing. Uh, it's on. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're just going to use that and see what we can do with it. By golly, it must have been off. So now I'll try my regular sights. Yeah, it must be off. The laser must be off. So, I have to see. I got it on there now. We'll use the laser again. Nope. Yep. So, the laser's off. We've got to do some adjusting. Okay, hopefully we got this back on. It seems like it. I'm hoping. And we'll just see what happens. Yeah, that one did. Yep, okay. Now we'll try the big black one. By golly, I can't see the laser on it. Because that's what we want to do. Huh. Yeah, I can see it on that red a little bit. Yeah, we're out. So we're going to have to reload. Okay, we've got one racked in. Now I'm going to... Uh, Hopefully, see where, there we go, see if I can hit the black one. Yep, I hit it. Okay. Now I, I can't, there it is, it's just right about in red. Yep, got it. Okay, that hit the red. It's hard to see that doggone red, or that green dot on that. I can see it a little bit now. Yeah, it's real hard to see. Oh, gone. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's still on. It's still on. Must be shooting a little low or something. I guess can't see that thing. I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, I hit the flapper again. So it's just a matter of seeing it. We'll try to get it on that black one again. See what we got there. I, it's, it's really, really hard to see. We'll see what we can do up just a little bit closer here. We're up here at 7 now, and we'll see what happens. Yep, I hit that flapper, so I could see it a little bit better. But boy, I tell you there on that green, black one. Yep, hit it. I can see it. Yep. Yeah, I'm hitting the flapper, so it's right on. Got it again. That was the last round. 
So once you can see that green, uh, by golly, you can, you can hit it. You can see that. It's just a matter of being able to see it. And at seven yards, I could see it a lot better than at 10. Okay, what I've done is I've uh, set up some new uh, shooting target seven ones. These are the larger, down below, you can see those. Those are the larger uh, dirt bags, knock over dirt bags. And the bowling balls are up above, bowling pins, I should say, are up above. So uh, why don't we turn that laser on and uh, see what we can do with those bowling pins because I ought to be able to see, oh yeah, oh yeah, you can see a lot better. Yeah, you can see, yeah, you can see them all there. Yep, now we'll take on the dirt bags. Okay, down they go. And I still got some rounds in here, so let's see if we can see that uh, flapper one again. Again, it's really hard. There it is. Yep, we got the flapper. And uh, still got another round, so I have another two. I don't know. Now where's the Delgon dot again? There it is. Yep, got the flapper again. Oh, by golly, got another. Okay, we'll just go over and see if we can shoot that other one. If I can see it, there we go. Yep, got it too. That was it. So anyway, took those out real good. Ran it through its paces. Um, I would like to be able to see it a little bit better. It's a good bright day today, and the green usually, at least for me, seems like it stands out a little bit more. But boy, on that black and that red, I had a hard time seeing that. And once I was able to see it on the others, it definitely showed up on the white, which I know you could see that. And of course, those were the bowling pins. And those are a half inch one, by the way, a half inch AR500. And they were pretty doggone good. I, I brought up the one of the big uh, uh, dirt bags here to show you that uh, it hit right about where I had that laser. So that was working good. Uh, as far as the ammo, the Norma frangible ammo, it cycled very well in this uh, Ruger Security 9, but that Ruger's been cycling just about anything I feed it. But still in all, it, it went pretty good. The uh, I think it was shooting good. Seemed like it was right on target. I mean, we weren't shooting at paper. We were shooting at these, but that's why I brought this target up. I'm going to show you it up here close. Uh, this is just about where I was putting that dot, and that's where it hit, right there. Because I only shot these one time, so... That's where it hit, right in that area. And I don't know if you can see or not. In fact, I can wipe some of that off. There's kind of a, I don't know what you want to call it, a brownish, um, goldish type uh, coloring. That's the frangible. And that frangible ammo just kind of flies apart. I mean, that's the idea of it. It just totally flies apart. And you don't have pieces coming back on splatter and what have you. What I have found before, and I shot the 223. And if you remember back to that video, just subscribe and go back to that video and you'll see what I mean. I showed the line that went all the way across in front of that target where it just must have been splattering straight down and going right along there like that. But as far as the targets go, uh, well, I can't say enough for shooting Target 7 anyway. Their products have done very, very well. And uh, we've, we've got a bumblebee flying around here, which you can probably see, because um, I think he was going across the lens of the camera. Anyway, he, he decided to take off. Maybe he didn't want to get shot here. <laughs> we started shooting again. But anyway, this uh, everything seems like it's worked pretty good. The uh, laser was on. You could see that. Didn't really take much to, to mess with that. In fact, I, I didn't redo ne next to anything to get it back on. But uh, it, it hit right around, and like I said, right where I aimed, where I had that laser, uh, it hit there. Uh, same way on the bowling pins, they work pretty good. I have noticed, though, just slightly, I could tell it on the uh, one that we had on the bullseye. Even though it was hitting the flapper, it just seemed like some of them were going a little low. And uh, so maybe that's, maybe it needs tweaked more. Maybe it needs brought up more. I, I really don't know because all the others, every time I have uh, set it up with the air gun, with the rim fire, it was right on to where the sights were. And perhaps it's just the frangible ammo is shooting that way. That I don't know either. But uh, once we got it on target, did pretty good. It took those last ones out in a hurry. So until next time. 
shoot safe, and have a great day of blinking.